to our non-bomb threat location. Yeah, <laughs> safe here. And I apologize for holding up lunch. Mary Ellen, uh, since we last saw you, we had a new commissioner, Andrew Morgan. Hi, Andrew. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, tell us how the governor's office went last time. I felt like the governor's office went well. I had some of the same, we did not have the uh, general counsel with us, we had assistant general counsel, and had some of the same assistant members that I had in the past. Um, got some good feedback. Uh, we were just actually in the hallway talking that one of the comments was, how did we prepare for our interview with the governor? You know, what was my secret to studying? And we spent a good bit of time talking about how that worked and what we did. And, then they wanted to know what I didn't study, and um, one of the things I had shared was uh, it was right as the legislature session had ended, so we had a lot of new statutes that were coming in. The alimony statute was pending. The death penalty statute had come in. Um, obviously, as a circuit court position, it's very important to understand that. And with the alimony statute, I had shared, probably not wisely, that I had read it but not really studied it. And that sparked an interest, and they wanted to know why. And I said, well, because the governor hasn't signed it yet, and I'm not sure if he's going to sign it. I don't know where he is on the issue. And then they started talking amongst themselves about what the governor was going to do. <laughs> so I just waited till they had another question. And they said, do you have anything else to say? Well, only if you have another question. <laughs> just left it be. And they did ask me you know, one question on it, but not too much. So it was, it was interesting. But I found it went well. Good. Good. Anything you could do different, we were send you up again. I think I have to continue what I have done in the past. Um, uh, Andrew, I don't know you as well, but I've been here in Volusia County for 35 years, um, and I have been practicing law for 25, uh, doing a variety of civil matters, um, estate planning, probate, guardianship, real estate, corporate and business, bankruptcy, and um, one of the most important things I learned as a general practitioner is the relationships that you have. Um, this is a small community in the Volusia Flagler area, and the relationships that I formed when I first started practicing, I'm pleased to say that I still have today. And the governor's office, that was one of the, the feedbacks that I got is when some of the people that they had interviewed with and spoken with spoke how long they had known me and how they had known me in both in a professional capacity as their attorney, on various civic boards that I work with them on, and that I felt that I should continue to strengthen those relationships and shine a light on that information. I, uh, I was at a Volusia County bar dinner, maybe our bench and bar dinner, our 50 year member dinner, and your father was honored for 50 years of practice, and, and you gave a very moving tribute to him Thank you. when he was unable to speak. Will you talk a little bit about um, your father's influence, your family influence, and, and his practice of law, and what it means to practice law with, with them, start out with them? Thank you. Um, I come from a family of lawyers. My father is an attorney, his brother is an attorney, his late sister was an attorney. My uncle has three children who are attorney. My younger brother is an attorney. Um, the dinner table was very exciting at our house. <laughs> a lot of debate. You had to be on your toes and be prepared. Uh, when I finished, when I was in law school, I clerked with my dad. I got to see how the practice worked. I actually began working in his office when I was 16. I was a runner. And I would carry things from law offices and to the courthouses and to the judges. And I got to see how the practice worked. Uh, I clerked as, a, as, as I went through law school. I, I worked in the evenings waiting tables and during the day in the law office seeing how things would be. He had a general civil practice and I wanted to see if that was the kind of law that I would like to do. I really enjoyed the dynamic um, of getting to know the clients and then getting to know their various needs because you might start out with a client who needed a contract for their uh, purchase or sale of a real estate, and then two years later it might be their business and they need some help with employment agreements. And I liked how the relationship continued. It, didn't, it wasn't a short relationship, it was an ongoing relationship. I was uh, privileged to practice with him for over 20 years. Um, it, it's definitely got a fun component when you practice with family. We are both two strong-willed individuals, and we learned, I learned to take the best from him. He was a, a, a fierce, litigator and he was amazing on his feet. He was really uh, uh, terrific in front of a jury and terrific in a courtroom. And I, and when I first started I was a little hesitant so I observed and I watched and I took the best aspects I saw of him and tried to mold them into my practice. When I began I felt like I was better with the books and the writing and the pleadings and so I had to, to, to build them all together to, to mesh to become the attorney you see today but I took the best from him to do it. Uh, six years ago, he had a massive stroke, um, and he had to retire. 
for about two years or so, he was still able to work with me and uh, handle cases and do things like that. But as time has gone on, he's had some more health issues, so he couldn't. I was privileged. Um, I, I forced him to do the 50 years. He really didn't want to, but I, I said, you know, this is such an honor. So if you lawyers get to that milestone, I really would like you to do it. Um, and as I shared in my speech, I, sh I went to pick him up. He no longer drives. And when I went to pick him up, I, he wanted to see what my notes from my speech were. And on the way over, he was crossing off things that I didn't <laughs> let me say. You can't tell him that. And don't tell him that. And I said, well, it's important. Um, I, I, I was honored. He, when I was in high school, he argued a Homestead tax case, um, Ostendorf versus Turner. It's in all of our, our constitutional law books. He changed the way, um, in 1980, the legislature changed so that the homestead exemption it was um, modified. If you lived in the state more than five years, you got an enhanced exemption. And if you lived in the state less than five years, it was a reduced exemption. And he said, no, this isn't right. And so, as we like to call him, Don Quixote chased off into battle. And here he was as a solo practitioner, arguing in the trial court, arguing in the appellate court, and then eventually arguing in the Florida Supreme Court and being successful. It was exciting. He let us as a family watch the whole thing, and I was I was privileged to see that. And so I was honored when I got to speak and share that. And I can remember I shared at the same event uh, when I was seven. He was admitted into the U.S. Supreme Court, and he took the whole family to see him be admitted into the U.S. Supreme Court. And so there's five of us, and we're dressed to the nines, and we're behaving, and we get to the door, and the marshal tells my mother that children are not allowed, and that they're going to have to leave. My mother's like, what am I supposed to do? I have to go see my husband get admitted. And so she turned to us and said, well, you guys don't have to behave anymore. And they had five wild hellions. <laughs> and the marshal said, well, you have to get him an order. My mom said, well, if you let me sit in the back row, there will be an order. And so we sat in the back row and watched him get admitted. <laughs> so it was great. It was exciting. I still can talk to him and share things about um, cases with him, and it's exciting. He's got an astute mind. Um, something came up about two, three weeks ago for one of his longtime clients. And I mentioned the name, and he was on point and knowing what was going on and sharing little bits of things that I had forgotten. So it was nice. I really enjoyed it. Anyone else? Marielle, thank you. Thank you. We will be calling you by the end of the day. Appreciate it very much.